Okay, so I am about to show you guys the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing today. It comes from Fashion Nova. So let me take you into my room. So this is the beautiful dress that is coming from Fashion Nova. I have no clue what accessories I'm gonna wear. I'm either gonna be wearing these earrings. Focus, focus. I'm either gonna be wearing these earrings are these earrings. I know that I'm gonna be wearing my watch and my bracelet. It's just a Michael Kors watch and um, don't tell anybody because it does not tick anymore. And then this is just the anklet that I'm gonna be wearing and the toe ring and the beautiful pink dress. <sighs> Why is anything not focusing? But this is the fit today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's take a look at the makeup. So now let's go into the makeup room. Hey baby, this is the makeup that I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna be using these concealers. The eyeshadows that I'm gonna use are really basic that you will see in the video. So it's gonna be some MAC eyeshadows and I'm only gonna be using one color out of here which is a pink. And this is the lip combination that I'm gonna be having. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you have not tried their lip glosses, you definitely have to do that. Sassy J on the lashes. And then, you guys know I'm absolutely in love with Beauty Bakery's mascara. This makes your eyes pop to me lashes and mascara make the look and then i'm going back to an old faithful which is mac soft and gentle let's talk about foundation and this is the foundation that i'm going to be using which is the urban decay naked foundation i really think like a light coverage foundation is really really good for date nights but this but this is a combination of the makeup that i will be rocking today okay i'm really excited i don't know why i'm so excited about this video but i know it's going to be a little bit different than what i normally do so i am so excited to bring the whole look to life so i am going to start off by priming which is something that you guys see in every single video my mac um not my mac my becca ever matte Pore Perfecting Primer is what's gonna go all over my face. I love it because the formula is kind of sticky so it allows my makeup to stick to my face along with keeping me matte all day long. So on your date, you wanna make sure that you have flawless skin. So I am going in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I'm only gonna apply this on the areas where I have larger pores. So if you guys do not suffer if you guys do not suffer from larger pores, don't worry about this step. You can definitely skip it. This is only to fill in the large crevices that I have on my face from having acne. So moving on, I like to do eyebrows next. So I'm going to be using my Morphe eyebrow pencil. This is what I got from ColourPop and it's only $5, girls. Five freaking dollars. So I'm going to be using this to, woo, using this to fill in my eyebrows. I do not have much of an eyebrow shape, but I do know how I like my eyebrows to look. So I like to darken them on the tail end of the brow, and then I like to go in upward motions on the front end of my eyebrow, just so it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna draw a line right here, and right underneath, and then I am going to start doing upward strokes. I would say all the way to like the first, just the first third of the brow, just so that it still looks a little natural. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealers. Like this does not change up. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro concealers in Espresso and then the one in Fonz. If you watch my videos, you already know Espresso is the one that I use on the top of my brow. Let me get my concealer brush. This is what is going to go on the top of my eyebrow just so that my eyebrow still has a little bit of a natural feel to it. And while I'm at it, I am going to only do a little bit of my imperfections where I have hyperpigmentation. And I am going to let that sit. I'm not really gonna blend it too much. My foundation, once I apply my foundation, we'll blend all of that out. So uh, this next concealer, which is LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn, is what sets the look off to me. So I am going to go ahead and shape my eyebrow and clean my eyebrow off with this concealer. This gives my eyebrow 
a lift which I absolutely love and then I use the concealer as a eyeshadow base so I am going to kind of like dot it all over the eye and this is what is going to serve as my eyeshadow base and give me an even base for the shadows that I use today now in order to blend everything out I love to use my finger your finger is your best blending tool so don't forget to use your finger to make your eyebrows look perfect you guys don't know how excited I am about the direction of my channel, the new direction of my channel. So you definitely need to hit that subscribe button and invite your friends and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because I have a lot of looks coming, especially when it comes to hair, makeup, fashion, everything. I have a passion for women looking and feeling and being beautiful inside and out that's what i encourage that's what i absolutely love like we are not just superficial where we want to look good on the outside but we also want to look good on the inside but i do feel that our outside can also project how we feel on the inside so if you have not hit that subscribe button Pause this video, hit it right now because you definitely want to stay tuned for my videos that are coming up. So I am someone that likes to do eyes before I do anything else. So I'm going to keep my eye look really simple but a pop of pink on the inside. So my first color is going to be this color right here. It has hit pan and you guys know that I love it because it has hit pan. This is called Brown Script by MAC. So I am going to blend this color as my transition color with a large fluffy brush. If you guys don't have this eyeshadow, this is like a staple eyeshadow. I know MAC, MAC is still popular with their collections that they do have, but they, there are some, I guess you would say some OG eyeshadows that you definitely have to pick up that most people aren't using anymore, but they are amazing. Don't follow the crowd, create your own lane. So if you have some old faithfuls out there that are really, really amazing, pick them back up, use them. So now I am going to go in with this color right here, which is espresso. So this is the deeper color. So as you can tell, because I've hit pan on most of all of these colors, these colors were something that was like my staple, my go-to. So I am going to apply this in the crease. So this is what's gonna give me a little bit of definition to the next shadow that I lay. My baby is so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. She's like literally laying on my dress right now. Knocked out, like she has been working all day. These are my monitors from working from home. Like I moved everything around just so that I can produce this makeup look. Like this combination can really, this eyeshadow combination can go with anything, any pop of color, or you don't even have to do a pop of color, just keep it really natural. I feel like when you're going out on a date night, you don't wanna do like anything that's too much. You wanna keep it natural so your natural beauty can shine, but of course you can always spice it up a little bit. So now over the lid, I'm gonna be using this brown shade right here. All the eyeshadow colors that I'm using is gonna be listed in the description box below. But I do believe that this shade is called Soft Brown. So I am just literally going to put this all over my lid. I am not cutting a crease today. I just want this shadow to be all over the lid and we're gonna keep it real sultry. So I'm going to be going back in with the brush that I use for my crease color just to blend everything out. That way nothing looks super harsh. Going back in and blending. If you have to go back in and blend, don't feel bad about it. We all do it. You just don't really see it on camera. This makeup look is seriously like the simplest makeup look that you can ever do. Like anybody can do it. So pick up your makeup brushes even if you don't have these exact eyeshadows. You can definitely find something that's very similar because this is nothing but neutral and then it's gonna of course have a pop of pink. So I am gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna apply this as my inner corner, inner corner highlight. I actually 
actually want it to appear much brighter than this so i think what i'm gonna do is to apply my foundation and get ready for the rest of my face and then i'll go back in to kind of make that eyeshadow pop so the foundation that i'm gonna be using is the urban decay naked skin foundation i love this foundation especially for something like a date night because this foundation is very very lightweight and it's very breathable you want something where your imperfections can show where he can kind of see you in your natural glory you don't have to have full coverage foundation i am someone that even has imperfections nobody's perfect but i have suffered from acne since i was a teen so you can kind of see that on my face so you still want your imperfections to show so that he's able to see you but kind of like see you in a natural way So I reapplied the pink and of course it looks a little sloppy but you can always fix that up and of course we are going to fix it up but before I do I am going to be using my favorite lip liner to date which is the NYX lip liner which is the NYX eyeliner matte liquid eyeliner and I love this so much I think I want to kind of do a bigger wing than what I normally do let's go for it So starting in the front, I'm going to kind of like follow my shape, but leave a gap. Now I'm gonna use my second favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep. And this is what I'm gonna to use to kind of clean up underneath my eye i'm only going to apply this concealer underneath my eye i don't like to have a heavy highlighted area so i'm only going to apply it underneath the eye and then i'm going to blend out with a beauty blender sponge a sponge kind of soaks up all the product so i don't want to have like a cakey or a heavy face especially for something that's more of like a date night type of look so I'm going to use my nude beauty blender sponge, it doesn't matter, any beauty blender sponge that you have and lightly tap over the product. It's like y'all can see, it kind of cleans up the fallen eyeshadow that was underneath my eye. So now it looks a whole lot neater. So I am going to bake. This stage is completely optional, but I am going to bake. So I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to sit this on top of the skin. I'm going to apply it with my beauty blender sponge. And I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and my eyes while this sits on my face. If you have dry skin, do not bake. Just gently pat, pat this powder into the skin until you can not see it any longer. But if you are really, really oily like me and you love to bake or you prefer to bake, just let this sit and finish up the rest of your face before you remove the powder. I'm also going to put it on my forehead and then on my chin. Just, call it, just so I can sit right here and soak up any of the oil that I may have. So you can tell right now like my face is literally full of powder. So let's go ahead and finish up with the eyes. I am going to be using this L'Oreal pencil in Tender Nudes. I love this pencil. It makes my eyes look a lot brighter and bigger when I use it in my waterline. So I am going to apply this only in my waterline today. I'm gonna use more of a pointier brush in order to apply the eyeshadow underneath my lash line. And I am using Espresso. Hello? Oh, hey. Hey. How you, How you doing? doing? I'm good. I'm actually filming right now, though. You are? Filming a YouTube video. But how are you feeling? Oh, I'm doing okay. You're neg negative? You're negative? Yeah. That's good. Why you don't sound so happy? So this is where I have to start my voice over because my brother ended up calling me. But right now what I'm applying is Brown Script by MAC underneath my eye. Turkey breakfast, you 
better get it. I got some too, but they gotta unthaw. I think I'm gonna do like uh, tacos tonight. Oh, okay. So you're gonna do a salmon on the side and then kind of like, uh, no, salmon as the meal. The meal. I really have no clue, but I'm just, just, all I'm trying to do is just to love and live with him in me and be a light to the world. Whatever my purpose is, whatever my assignment is, I just want to be able to to be a positive impact on people and let everybody know that God is real, God is love, and to choose him and love on him and just to have faith. Like, it's not always going to be easy. And everybody is exposed to certain, it, exposed to different things in life. And I kind of question, like, why am I exposed to things that I'm going through right now? But I can't be upset. And there's a reason why people go through different things. We're not here to touch every single person on earth, but we're here to touch touch a certain group of people. He knows exactly what you're going to go through. He put you down here because you can handle it. There's a specific job, a specific title, a specific position that he wants you to be in that he knows that you can personally handle. So he created you and sent you down here. And he knows who you are. We just have to know it. But we have to seek after him to know it because we don't originally know it. That is just so powerful to me because he knows you. He loves you and he knows you can do it. We just have to believe in it. And sometimes we don't believe in ourselves. And that's how I, that's who I was. I didn't believe in myself, but God does. So if you trust God and you believe in him, you have to believe in yourself at the same time. So I hope that inspired some of you guys because you are definitely here for a reason. What I'm doing right now is applying some contour. My Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. It is the very best thing to contour with and the only thing I contour with. So I am going to add some definition to my cheekbones and then apply a little bit underneath my chin. Wiping away my setting powder always causes me to lose a little bit of definition in my nose. So I do not want to draw on a whole different nose. What I like to do is use something soft. So I'm using my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and I am just going to bring definition back to my nose. Now this blush, I did over D. I did OD on the blush, but I absolutely love this pink blush. And like I said, all products used will be listed in the description box below. It pops very, very well on brown skin skin in its drugstore and then I'm going to add a little bit of highlight that MAC soft and gentle. My lip combination today is going to be MAC chestnut lip liner and I am going to pair it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Denity lip gloss. So now let's jump into the hair aspect of it. I am going to take this hair off, right? This wig. And I do not have my hair in braids. I really don't need this little stocking cap, honestly, because I have been rocking bangs and I am going to rock bangs today as well. I've been loving it. This wig came off of Amazon. If I am able to remember what vendor I brought it from, then I will let you guys know, but I'm going to go ahead and just fit it on. I just need to curl it a little. Fix it up and curl it. I might take this stocking cap off. I don't know. When you're wearing bangs, you honestly don't really need a stocking cap. I don't really use it, but we will see. Bangs can be annoying, but I have been loving, loving the bang vibes lately. Like when I am rocking bangs, I like to have different like curling patterns. I will curl away from my face and also towards my face. So my curls do not go in the same direction. So right now I'm just using a flat iron. This is my red flat iron that I got from my local beauty. Okay, so my camera cut off and I had no idea that it turned off on me. So right now all I'm doing is curling my hair, but just like I was telling you guys, 
I like to have a lot of texture. So I'm not being really picky on the sections that I'm grabbing, but I am going to curl away from my face and I am gonna curl towards my face. So I'm gonna have different curling patterns throughout. That's the way that I love to wear my bangs because I love the little messy bang look. So I am just gonna let you guys watch and I will be back for the outfit. Well, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy videos like this and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.